It's either you're against all forms of uh, discrimination or you're not. There is absolutely no trick to looking back on the great injustices of our time and condemning them. We understand that. We got that. The trick is always to look at what we're doing today as if we were some point in the future looking back and figure out what the oppressions and the injustices are that we're committing today and to get them out of our lives. Do you have compassion for everything alive? Oh, animals don't matter to you, they can be the problem. Animals are individuals and that feeling too. They feel loneliness and happiness like people do. I'm Paresis and uh, family should also be vegan. What I mean by that is that if people are against uh, discrimination between different groups of uh, people, they should also be against uh, discrimination against uh, different species. Oh, yeah. And that uh, speciesism is wrong for the same reasons yeah. as, for instance, racism or yeah, sexism. Yeah. yeah. That makes sense. Yeah, you agree? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think I agree with you. Yeah? Yeah, because you cannot have it the wrong way, right? It's either you are against all forms of uh, discrimination or you are not. Yeah. Like, yeah, I, I got you. I feel you. Yeah. So, and, and that's what it means to be vegan. Uh, time, I, I yeah. think uh, you cannot. Uh, they come in a different weight, right? I know animals are important, right? We yeah. depend on them for survival, but at the same time, I feel everything come in layers and circles, yeah, right? Of course. So, yeah, I think once we are here as humans, yeah. I think we have to tackle first things first, tackle racism and uh, mes misogyny and stuff first, and then uh, maybe we can give another weight to protect uh, 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 all the other species too. Yeah, and um, yeah, because I've heard people uh, say kind of the same thing that like uh, first we should uh, get rid of human discrimination, yeah. then we can start worrying about other species uh, afterwards. But uh, what I think is that uh, what if we, uh, if we stopped uh, abusing uh, animals and using them for food and all this, then, because uh, if you think about it, like speciesism is kind of like the first form of discrimination we learn uh, yeah. as we grow up. Yeah. It's uh, by what we serve in our place. Yeah, yeah. We learn that like some lives uh, are better than others, than the other, yeah, yeah. yeah. And uh, if someone is uh, belonging to these certain groups, then we can do whatever we want to them, or we should have empathy for these groups, but not these groups, and, and so on. So, uh, so I think maybe like in the vegan world, there will also be like, less racism and yeah. sexism and yeah. all this too. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. I, I think I, I agree with you partially because. One thing is that sometimes you, you, okay, you have, in this world, you can either be idealist or you be a realist, right? And if you take a position where you say, okay, uh, I don't know if it's about how much we eat these species, other species which are not human, or we should totally get rid of uh, consuming them, which means going to even affect human survival. You get what I mean? Now, if you don't have to eat fishes, for instance, Right, then it's one, one way of telling other species that depend on fishes because inside the ocean they feed on each other. There's no mercy on other fishes. And, and we, are, we are one part of the whole ecosystem, right? So for us yeah. to survive, it's inevitable yeah, for but us not to eat it. Okay, let's say we are not eating plants, we are not eating fishes. How are human beings going to survive? Well, uh, I haven't eaten fish in five years, and I'm surviving. That's impressive. So, what do you eat? What's the source of protein? Uh, well, uh, all protein originally comes from plants, so yeah. we're just using the animals as like this in-between link. Yeah, yeah. Um, regarding what you said about like ecosystems and stuff like this, uh, I would argue that the animal agriculture and the like industrialized uh, yeah. farming and fishing 
are, is actually destroying the ecosystems and uh, and it would also be way way better for most people to or easier to survive if we cut that out because it's so resource demanding with like with water and land and all this and um, but uh, say you're in a survival situation so you have to eat animals, yeah you have to, you have to then, depend uh, on something then it's uh, justifiable i'd say then because uh, the ethics about what we do to animals all depends on the circumstances like with the oh. options we have away, available so uh, veganism is the view that like as long as we don't have to harm any animals, then we should uh, try our best to avoid it. Huh. So, um, so, in our, um, we might have uh, been dependent on eating animals in the past, uh, but uh, now in this day and age, we have uh, way more options, way more uh, like knowledge about nutrition and all of this. Options so, like what? Uh, like uh, high, high what? protein sources, but yeah. uh, fish like. Uh, Tofu, tempeh, yeah. beans, lentils, uh, legumes, uh, grains. Uh, yeah. And then somebody also argue that okay, if you are against the eating of animals, right? Which I'm, I'm against animal cruelty, like violence against animal, right? I'm, I'm not for it. But if you decide to also eat plants, right? Somebody will be like, oh no, I love plants too. Mm. What, right? If you, if you, there's, there is, there's no justification in eating anything. Right, because whatever you choose at the end of the day, somebody has something to talk about. Yeah. Right. But it's weird. Though, no one ever says uh, the plants feel pain. If we, if if someone was uh, uh, beating a dog, right, and so uh, someone comes and hey, don't be cruel to the dog, he's not gonna say hey, plants feel pain too. I like, like uh, you know. So <laughs> it's, it's, it's only when there's discussion of what we eat that people. Yeah, will, uh, absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely, I, I agree. But the thing is. It, it all, uh, for me, it all comes down to what the plants do to the entire biodiversity and the ecosystem. Right? Yeah. You can argue that, okay, this is a violence against animals. I will argue that the plants also play very important roles to our survival, like cleaning the for us to get photosynthesis and stuff. Every plant contributes. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then the more you chop down plants to eat, for me, I can also argue that, hey, okay, I'm having less. Uh, oxygen to breathe so don't do yeah. that right yeah and uh, but the thing is that the animals people eat they've all been fed plants so by going vegan you're actually killing less plants than if you eat animals that, yeah, that, that's uh, true. And, uh, yeah that, that's true from the uh, individual perspective you know the reason that's also part of the the sun here like the reason uh, like discriminating against humans is wrong is because it's a individual victim who uh, experiences that uh, yeah. oppression or discrimination. Yeah. Like uh, we have brains, nervous systems, pain receptors, yeah. uh, we are sentient, conscious. Mm. And plants do not have a brain. Any of their uh, senses? No. So you can argue plants are intelligent, that they re react to stimuli, but they don't have like a centralized uh, consciousness. Nervous system. Uh, yeah, so yeah. They, uh, uh, yeah, and, and pain receptors and all these things. What about so. snails? Do they have brain? I think they have like a tiny, tiny brain. Uh, yeah. Really? Uh, some animals don't, like uh, clams, mussels, uh, yeah. manatees. Yeah, they um, don't have brain, right? No. So the ethics of killing those to... animals is uh, completely different from killing animals that we know for sure are sentient. So are you for animal being treated rightly before they are killed or you are just totally against animal consumption? I'm because uh, there's another school of thought yeah. who says that okay. I'm also against killing animals if we don't uh, have to. Like yeah. I said, like survival situation, yeah, different, yeah, uh, that's a different scenario, yeah. like 100 years ago maybe. Or, but um, even if the animal didn't suffer, if they had like a good life, I would still say it's uh, a rights violation to take that life from them. Yeah. yeah. Nice talking to you, man. Yeah. Nice talking to you. Have a nice day. You too. You can. Uh, you wanna learn uh, a bit more? You can uh, check out some uh, documentaries and stuff. Oh yeah. Sure. Thank you. I don't see anything. I went back to the same spot the next day and had a really good conversation with this cool guy. Unfortunately, when I looked at the clip afterwards, the sound was like this throughout the entire clip. Uh, and I, think that human beings... 
I don't know why this happened. My mic has never been like this before throughout an entire clip. It didn't seem that windy there and the sound was okay on the other clips, so uh, that really sucks. But I noticed that someone else was filming the entire conversation too, uh, someone who knew the guy I talked to. Unfortunately, I didn't get his contact info, but I did show him my YouTube channel, so if you're watching this now, please contact me and send me the clip. The sound doesn't have to be very good, uh, as long as we can hear our voices, I can try some voice isolation and uh, noise uh, reduction tools and see if I can make it work. I really appreciated the conversation we had, so please contact me if you have the clip. I think I might one day try to go vegetarian again, maybe not vegan. No, not right away, I don't feel the, the will. The willpower to go for vegan. People talk as if it's like about this discipline thingy, but yeah, well, I'll say it's more about like values. Because mm -hmm. when you have the victims in mind, then it's so easy. Like I could. It's it's much easier when you do actually imagine the suffering you could be pre presumably pre presumably causing at some point.